Hi, everyone. My name is Attila Terziolo. I'm a principal with Deloitte Consulting and one of the leads in our tech strategy and business transformation practice, where we help our clients plan and enable new business strategies with technology. I've been working in the industry for over 30 years and have had the pleasure of working with Scott Limblom over the past year, helping Bed Bath & Beyond with their transformation. Scott, would you like to introduce yourself and give a quick overview? Thanks, Attila. Scott Lindblom, Senior Vice President, Chief Technology Officer at Bed Bath & Beyond. I've been at Bed Bath & Beyond about a year now. Uh, previous to that, I had executive uh, positions in information technology with uh, Michaels, Ross Stores, and Best Buy. Uh, Deloitte and Google are partnering with us on our omni-channel uh, transformation, uh, enabling uh, us to better serve our customers in a digital-first environment. Google is our cloud platform and technology provider, and Deloitte is our strategic transformation services partner. Thanks, Scott. This certainly is an exciting time for the company, and I'm pleased that we're partnering with you on this transformation journey. Before we get into the specifics of the technologies, I think our audience would benefit from some background. Bed Bath & Beyond have defined a business strategy that was announced during Investor Day in 2020 that truly transforms the business and is driving the need for a technology transformation. Would you highlight the overall transformation and business strategy for our audience? Sure, Attila. Uh, our mission uh, on the slide here is to reestablish ourselves uh, as the authority and the preferred omni-channel home destination. The starting point is the scale of the transformation is approximately 1.5 billion in business and technology transformation. We're comprehensively reimagining our business and IT capabilities. We also have a renewed focus. We've divested several companies, uh, example, Cost Plus World Market, Christmas Tree Shop, uh, to focus on what's important, uh, our core brands, of Bed Bath, Bye Bye Baby, and Harmon Stores. We're transforming how we operate and how we can deliver an exceptional customer experience. Obviously, with this degree of transformation across the organization, it's uh, akin to doing open heart surgery while running a marathon. That's a great analogy. Would you also highlight a few of the areas of the business strategy that you see being most impacted by the new technology capabilities? Sure, I'd be happy to. So uh, we're really looking to improve the customer experience through redesign business and IT capabilities at the center of the transformation. Uh, it includes uh, new uh, products that we're launching. So we've uh, launched what we call own brands this year. Um, and uh, also uh, redesigning the store layout and experience. Uh, we just opened the Chelsea uh, store as an example of that with a lot of new capabilities and uh, really improved merchandising and sight lines as well in that store. Uh, we've also then focused on omni-channel uh, and digital, really trying to serve our customer uh, how they uh, want to engage with us, be it in stores, online, or through the app, and also uh, fulfilling that demand uh, through the stores and uh, implementing capabilities such as buy online pickup in store, curbside pickup, uh, and same day delivery. Uh, these changes will be delivered through uh, redesigned business and IT processes and tech enablers to deliver new capabilities to the business. Uh, given the scope of the transformation, this is an exciting time leading this initiative to reinvigorate the business and drive sustainable growth. With that business context, let's shift gears and discuss the technology transformation. Given that Bed Bath IT have traditionally been a custom application development shop, not necessarily by choice, but due to the age systems, what are a few of the IT capabilities that you're looking to transform? Sure. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, we run a lot of uh, 1990s uh, technology, uh, including uh, Lotus Notes, one of my favorite uh, technology platforms. Uh, so it's a full modernization of our business applications, infrastructure, uh, and also new ways of working for the IT organization. Uh, our strategy is to build applications for differentiation and then buy uh, applications for existing uh, retail solutions and foundational capabilities. Uh, we're modernizing our applications throughout retail, corporate, and store systems, uh, implementing leading practices and best-in-class solutions for a new ERP solution, uh, which includes the, the core uh, retail as well as uh, finance uh, modules, demand and inventory management to improve uh, our, how we manage inventory. Uh, and again, to ensure we've got the right level of inventory 
uh, in each location to better serve our customers. Integrated space floor assortment and merchandise financial planning. Uh, product lifecycle management in uh, support of the own brands initiative that I mentioned. There, uh, we're looking to grow historically about a 10% penetration of own brands uh, to exponentially more. Uh, we also are looking at our marketing technology uh, focused on uh, loyalty and also personalization and then replatforming uh, our e-commerce uh, platform to the Google Cloud. Uh, truly is an expansive list. Every part of the uh, business is going to be impacted. But what critical role does GCP have in your technology capability set for the future? Uh, sure. Uh, GCP is, as I just mentioned, uh, the end state for uh, our e-commerce site, uh, as well as uh, we're moving our analytics capability to uh, the Google Cloud. Uh, also, though, you know, in this uh, transformation, you can imagine uh, we're dealing with multiple vendors and multiple clouds. And so GCP also plays a very important role in uh, integrating uh, the set of applications and really uh, bringing uh, these together. I know the uh, transformation will also have a significant impact on your technology operating model. What are some of the things that you're doing to position your organization from, for success going forward? As I mentioned previously, we're running a significant number of legacy systems on, on older technologies and platforms. So the tech transformation has been an opportunity for us to rethink and redesign our operating model. Uh, we've defined a new cloud services team to deploy support the new GCP platform and the integrations. Uh, we're more tightly aligning our application teams with the business functions they support to increase collaboration uh, with the business. We've also uh, implemented a transformation management office focused on tracking and managing the costs and benefits of the transformation. And finally, we're upskilling uh, our resources through training and working hand in hand with our partners to increase the knowledge and expertise in the new technologies that we're implementing. Uh, thanks for that. Thanks for highlighting the key areas within the tech transformation. It's apparent the cloud is very much a key enabler in the transformation, but what about where the business can go from there? Sure, obviously we've got a lot to get accomplished uh, to modernize our core systems and capabilities. Uh, but with that GCP as a common hub platform or position to build on that to really continue to innovate and deliver value. We feel that the structured approach we're taking to this transformation supported by Deloitte is setting us up to make this uh, continued innovation a reality it becomes uh, an art of the possible discussion. Uh, so capabilities like real-time data mo mobility and looking at uh, functions like end-to-end -end supply chain visibility or uh, looking at artificial intelligence or machine learning, chatbots, precision marketing, and then uh, also augmented reality is interesting in terms of creating really that more immersive customer experience in-store and online. Uh, that's fantastic. Scott, thank you very much for that uh, overview of Bed Bath & Beyond's transformation journey. Truly an amazing innovation journey and reinvention during a most dynamic time period. And thanks so much for joining us at Google Next as well. Looking forward to seeing you at some of the other sessions.